Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl and welcome back. It's very quiet to another episode of AI The Somnium Files. Last time we were there, we finished our first root, the red root, also known as Ota's root. Um, we, you know, had a nice heart-to-heart -heart chat between Ota and Mayumi that we somewhat participated in and also awkwardly stared at. Um, and then we saw some nice credits and then we went back to Boss's office and we had a nice chat. Uh, we learned two very important pieces of information. One, that Iris took the kitchen knife um, and had it, presumably, while they were driving in the car. Suspicious. And two, that Shokun Adami's eyeball was in Renju Okira's intestines. That's awesome and cool. Anyways, last in the last one, I said that I thought we were going all the way back and doing the other route in Mizuki Somnium next. Guess what? I lied. Um, we're not doing that. We're actually going to go and do the other route in... Ota Somnium, um, which, hooray, we get to do this this again. So, we're going to start from here, and we're going to be making mostly different decisions um, to kind of get to see if we can get some different results here. Um, now, something else to note. Hang on, I'll let her, let her say her bit. Say your bit. Can you please take me with you? Something else to note about redoing a Somnium that I didn't mention before um, because it wasn't relevant. Um, now that we're actually redoing it and going for a different um, like route, uh, you do not have to re-get the hidden item um, which is great. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. Um, or the normal Wi-Fi, ones too. I don't need anything else. You can, or I mean, or the like normal files, so you don't have to worry about finishing with over one second. Like you can kind of dick around a little bit more on your second try. I don't think I'm going Sorry, to. We can't have pets. But we'll we'll see. So we could skip all of this actually. So this is all the same, obviously. Get him. Somnium baby, let's go. All righty. Let's see what we can accomplish differently here. Yeah, I know you're gonna fall on the ice and look like a dumbass. Um, so we are gonna go- still go back to the icy floor. That's- that's still our first order of business. The ice on the floor is do, slick. Do, do. Um, we still want to lie down. I wish I could remember if sliding is the reference. I think I'm gonna do it just to see. Leave it to me! Is it- I'm- Yes! Yuri Katsuki? Yes! Oh, did that? I don't know if that actually worked. Good exhibition. That'll score high. <laughs> I just wanted to show the area on ice reference. It would have been perfect if I had a tight black bodysuit. It's a great reference. Maybe you can do a Javier Fernandez routine next. It's very funny. Those who don't fight won't survive! I mean, I feel like this accomplishes the same thing. So it might be okay. We just had to remove the ice, fam. Like, I feel like we might be fine. We're gonna go with it. Anyway, if we have to redo it, we have to redo it. It's cool. All right, so all this is the same. The Our redos of these Somniums are gonna be a little bit faster unless I have something to show off, so. Because we can kind of skip. God, it's so funny every time. Damn. He's all right. He's gonna get his ass beat. All right, let's do something different. So last time, if you remember, we kind of messed with these plates over here and I fucked up the first time, but don't worry about it. That's not what we're gonna do this time. There's an oil drum over here. An oil drum. And we need- Though it is lying down. It is lying down, you're correct. We need to roll it. So we're gonna roll that bitch. You can do it. There it goes. Really slowly. It's, it's gonna make it. Acetone? Oh, it's, it says A set on it. <gasps> the A! What is this? Beautiful. So we're gonna make him go to this this way instead. Last time we made him go left. This time we're gonna make him go right. Shink! <laughs> no. I don't wanna die! Look, over here! I eventually stopped thinking. 
Oh. Did he die? Oh, no, he sees it. Okay. I was like, maybe he'll just die. That's Tessa! Well, no, it's an oil drum. But sure. Do you think your girlfriend's an oil drum? Oh, what's Stay that? Cowers to no one. What did you call what you just did? Music still slaps, though. Sorry, I was dancing. <laughs> I have to fight back with something! What is that? What just felt- it kind of looks like a, um, not extension cord, like a surge protector? Okay, let's go see what it is. A remote got control? You've got four minutes. Wait. Fuck that. Um, we're going over here. Look at her go. We gotta get all the way over here. It appears to be a power. Yeah, we need we need this. Uh, we need to throw something at it. So we're definitely gonna use that timey because 240. We don't even have that. So yeah, right. This is an ice cold one. Yeah, get it. Iba, aim for the switch. Yes. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Get it, girl. Yeet. Nice pitch. Oh, there we go. Good thing we didn't interact with it. It wouldn't have worked. We need to turn on power. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now it will move. Yeah. I... I can't stand. Oh. I'm weak. Well... Did he really help Iris like that? No. Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. Yeah, okay. This is annoying. It is. All right, we gotta get back over to him. We must run. You have three minutes, Dante. Across. Now ignore the remote control. We don't need it. We need to help Ota. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. What a little bitch. We need to encourage him. You're so cool, my shiny, glittery Ota. So cool. That was disgusting. The ghost inside me whispered. Yeah, I am cool, huh? It's that easy, kids. From now on, this is my stage. Yeah, nice dance. Oh, what's that? Oh, a hook. Oh, this is gonna get violent. <laughs> Are we gonna, um, stab him? We've seen a hook used with great effect before. Bang. Glad you knew it was that one. Oh. Is that what you wanted? Oh god. Oh god. No one look. Everyone cover your eyes. Oh. Ew. Gross. It's dead. You've killed it. Was that, was that what we wanted? Do we want that? Was that a good thing? This resulted in him not getting stabbed. I feel like we changed history. Dante, you hit the limit. Time's up. No! Wait. I can almost make out their face. Pewter, force shutdown. I had so Stop. much time. Stop it! Oh. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is so funny! <laughs> I love the polar bear so much. He was like, huh? Huh? <laughs> we did it. We won? I don't know. I don't know if we really, um... Let's see. Oh, we, see, we had... What? Out of time, my ass. I still had over 100 seconds, y'all.
That seems like some bullshit. Lame. I mean, I guess we wouldn't have gotten to see it anyways because he got his ass stabbed, so he wouldn't have been able to pull off the... the hat. Seal guy. Great. Oh, shit. Sorry, I always forget I have to click on this. <laughs> Sorry. Ow! What were you thinking? I was thinking I had a hundred seconds. Oh, I also forgot to do- okay, You can fine, only sorry. stay in Somnium for six minutes! I had a hundred seconds! Any longer, and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. And that would be a true nightmare, honestly, so actually probably better to work with caution on this one. I know. No, you clearly don't! Okay, lady, calm down. This isn't just about you, Date. Okay, uh, bitch, I'm trying to solve a murder. That's not definitely not about me. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. Eh. Eh. If I may? <laughs> he had a hundred seconds. Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Great. Although, the timing was really close. Okay. Whatever. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. We were so close. Not necessarily. Yeah, we don't know, because if he doesn't know, we wouldn't have been able to see anything. It would have just been blank, right? We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. Which, at this point, we're not sure about. Also, what must Ota be thinking right now? Like, he's sitting here listening to all of this. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the timeline where we kidnapped him from the hospital. So... Well, Ota... Did you see it? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? He's gonna say no. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. Mm-hmm. You see? <laughs> Idiot. I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. I'm sorry, when the what? Did what? Yeah. They that actually happened? Like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got stabbed in my gut. Oh, so is that actually what happened? Unclear. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Okay. So that all of that actually happened? Yeah. Or at least it fell over somehow. Wild. Okay. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Alright, let's look at everything in the room. Y'all know how y'all know how we how we play. Nope, nope, not that. Not all look at those. I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa. What kind of fantasy is that? What the fuck? Let me see the long table. Any objects are scattered on the table. Different strings. Lockers. I've been watching you. What the fuck? Forever and ever. Hello? Hey, did you hear something just now? I did not. Perhaps you're imagining. I bet. Was that you? A locker in the corner. Let's not look at it again. Let's let's maybe just leave that one alone. Um, I opened it up. Stuff with mysterious mushrooms. Cool. It's a metal shelf. CRTs. Date, look. That haunted girl is crawling out of the well. Yeah, she was just in the locker, I think. Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or huh? something? I'll be honest, I didn't get that one. Monitor's turned off. Great. Love that for me. You can see the sink machine. Ota, I'm sure, has like a ton of questions. Find our sink manual. Um, so let's talk to him absolutely last. Boss looks more upset than angry right now. Whoops, sorry. I'm sorry. Apparently, I, I misunderstood. It was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? I don't know. Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Yes, ma'am. Or 
You can lick my shoes. Okay. I mean, what? Either or. <laughs> no, it, bitch, it's an and. Tell him it's and. I thought to never apologize for anything ever again. Same. Uh, about my brainwaves and Ota's. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not corrupted, am I? As I mentioned earlier, both your brainwaves are normal. I don't want that shit in me. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Okay. Fine. All right, cool. Hi. After the sink, Ota changed into his usual clothes. He looks tired sitting on the chair. Um, I'm sure he has a lot of questions. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Good? You good? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. I'm not sorry. What about your stab wound? Yeah, how's- sorry, did we open your stitches or anything? My what? Oh! Oh, it hurts. He's gonna sue the police department. <laughs> it started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Kid, you have a very strong case. Don't blame me, that was boss. It doesn't matter, you're all the police. I'll sue you for gonna... this! You should! Oh, come on. Nor, how about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. Alright, so this is how you destroy your credibility in court, Ked. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Guess so. Yay. Oh, sorry, I can look at Peter. Um... Uh, why are you hiding the knife? Because I was scared. Where did scared. you get the knife? That's my question. The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Okay. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. Damn. I have more experience than you. Boss is laughing at me. Did you see her move up there? She's listening. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? So we're looking for someone who's injured? Oh, that, I mean, did this actually happen? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Okay, so this is gonna be a huge clue. Maybe. It's like I told you. And this also, this information kind of rules out our previous theory in the last route that, that it's just Ota and Iris in on it together. Because if this did actually happen, well, never mind. It doesn't at all, because this could all be made up. That never mind. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I don't really remember much. So we could potentially be looking for someone who has a giant fucking leg injury. Maybe. All the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline. My mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Uh-huh. That's not how eyewitness testimony should work. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. Uh -huh. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Okay, wait, is there blood in the warehouse? Can we go to a DNA analysis? Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. Okay, so that means they didn't go for help. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. And it sprayed a ton of blood. Is there blood? He definitely would have needed first aid. But is there blood, though? Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. Can we go check for blood? You think there are multiple killers? Blood? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crime. Yeah, they might not have known. But can we go look for blood? I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. 
So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. And if there was actually blood at the scene, we could potentially ID them, just saying. That information could be crucial in catching them. I'm not sure why everyone is ignoring that fact. Probably because we didn't see any blood there, but like... Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. Just on the street. Anyone who has an injured left leg, bring them in. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Do you know how many people live in this city? A lot. Ah! Oh my god. What? I'm dying. Help! Date, what is the matter? <laughs> oh shit. I'm down. Date! Are you alright? And then I died, I guess. Or whatever. It's not like it matters. Guess I just died. All right. Oh, we, someone brought us home. That was nice. We slept until the next day, which we probably desperately needed, so that's fine. Hey, girl. How's it going? <sighs> you good? Hey. This is... Oh, you're alive. Great! Suki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Mizuki. Liar. It's not what happened. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Maybe. Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. Oh, great. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Great. I mean... I'm glad we got, like, a good night's sleep. Kind of. But... Um, let's... I think we might call it. Just because we're... We're starting a new route and we're gonna get into it. So I think let's let's go through our files because I'm not actually sure how many we have. Oh, not that many. Um, but we'll check. So I know this one's a little shorter, sorry, but you know what it is, what it is. Oh, eh, just that one? Branching paths, discover other routes, great. Wait, I should have another one, shouldn't I? Oops. Didn't I have another one? Thought I should. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Well, I thought I was gonna get- oh. Maybe I'd already gotten it. I- you can also get Dom P from, uh, from that conversation that you have with Boss just there. Um, so anyways, in the next one, we're gonna talk to Mizuki and maybe get the lowdown on if there have been any updates while we were out. Um, and then we're gonna go back to investigating. Something tells me this is gonna be a big day of investigating. Um, we've got a lot to accomplish and uh, we need to go out and look um, everywhere for someone with an injured, an injured left leg. So that's cool. <laughs> that's literally the only lead we have. And honestly, I'm not even sure it's legit. So we'll figure it out, I guess. I'll see you then. Bye.